Hello and welcome. Today I am joined by Sheila E. and the family. Now, I heard that you are the, a surrogate for the Obama campaign. So what type of things do you do to get people out and let them know that voting is important, not necessarily who you vote for, but what you do to make your voice heard? Well, definitely, I've been out on the campaign uh, really getting people to register. Um, there have been some challenges with registration with people. There have been challenges where the voting polls are that they've changed and people don't know where to go, even though on the statement, even as it, my statement says that it's at one place and it's not. Um, so we were asking people to make sure that they register to vote and find out where they're supposed to vote so they're not surprised by uh, a change of address. Um, and to make sure you go out and vote. Um, it's important that every voice be heard and every everyone's voice is important to this campaign and to uh, the growth of this um, this country. And uh, we went to schools, we went to door to door, we went to, I went to places where I could just act, go and encourage the people that have been giving of their time. You know, some people that have a full-time job are still giving 20 to 30 hours a day uh, to the campaign to help to make phone calls and so just encouraging people to continue to let's move forward you know um, and um, really basically go out there and vote that everyone's voice is, is very important. Okay speaking of you know empowerment and things of that nature with being a female and doing something like playing the drums and percussion what types of things did you have to tell yourself to empower you in a field that's masculine? Um, most of things that were told to me were from Pops. You know, he, um, he never instilled in me that it was a male instrument. It was more of, if you want to just play, go ahead and play. You know, I thought in growing up that all girls played drums. You know, I thought it was common. I thought everyone had percussion and drums in their house until I started to record with other artists and I realized that I was one of a few women playing. Um, but the things that Pops told me, you know, um, were very encouraging. He, he said to make sure, you, you know, that, that we showed up early um, and that we knew our craft and that we would make sure in whatever uh, music that we would play that it was rehearsed, well rehearsed, we knew what we were going to do, which then would allow us to sit there uh, and, and do our best work and be confident about it and be at ease about it so we weren't stressed about I don't know it, I don't know what to do and then, it, and then you start second guessing yourself. So all the advice that Pops gave me was to prepare me to go out and, and do the best that I can you know, and um, uh, move forward with if this is what I want to do, take it seriously, do the best job, always give 100% um, but still have fun. Okay. With performing comes great fashion and I've seen outfits and I adore them. So would you consider yourself a fashionista? No. No? <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I like clothes. I, I do like shoes. I have this thing about shoes, so I am known for my shoes. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I, I, again, yeah, I, I do have to say, though, my fashion, again, comes from Pops because I have the best dressed dad in the business, you know. Um, and he's one that irons his pajamas when he goes to bed. So, I mean, you, <laughs> to stand up next to him, he taught us well. He's like, he's clean and always clean. And, and yeah, he's. We wear a suit and tie. It could be 110 degrees outside. <laughs> and we're like, Pops, it's an outdoor concert. It's so hot. He said, You need a tie on. So, yeah, we have to wear a suit and tie when we play, too. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for Christmas, you give gifts. On Thanksgiving, you eat with your family. And now that there's a Sheila E. Day, how do you suggest that we celebrate? Today, well, Sheila E. and E. Family Day today uh, here on campus, um, we got to mix it up. So we got to have some uh, arroz con pollo with some gumbo, uh, with some rare rooster and some hot wings with some fried chicken, a little bit of yams, but yeah. then, you know, we gotta have some so, some tortillas on the yeah. side, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta mix it up with, with Mexican. Some drummers. <laughs> gotta have some drummers. Gotta <laughs> then we gotta jam, then all of us, whoever plays, we just get all the percussion instruments together and we just start jamming out in the, in the parking lot. 
and we just have a blast. I mean, we could do that like in the le next 10 minutes. I mean, I see some drummers out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a plan. I'll be there. I'll okay, be good. Right. I'll be beating on some pots and pans. There you go. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but since we are on A&T's campus, can we get an Aggie Pride from Miss Sheila E? Uh, okay, you got to teach it to us. Okay. Aggie Pride. Okay, ready? Pride. Ready? One, two, three. Aggie, Aggie Pride. Pride. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're but welcome. you got you got to do it with some um. Yeah. No, you do okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. And then you'll do it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing do some. Cute. Okay, okay. And I didn't hear it like that. At oh, okay. All. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm calling you out. Yeah, right, I've been called out, and it's fine. All right, go ahead. I represent my university. Okay, go. <laughs> go. At Geek Pride. There you yeah. go. At, at Geek Pride. Pride. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>